guys, welcome to this video. So special for Spider-Man No Way Home, I built this pumpkin bomb because Marvel brings back the Green Goblin, one of my favorite villain in Spider-Man. And in this video, I managed to build this Dr. Octopus tentacle-like robot arm and its control book. Look. Pretty cool, isn't it? This is my Gitchi. Okay, first we need to make the arm and I'm going to use carton and cardboard. Make circle with 3 inches diameter on the carton and the cardboard. We need 2 carton circle and 1 cardboard circle. Now glue the carton and the cardboard and put the cardboard um, in the middle. I recommend to use wood glue. I also make some of circles with slightly smaller diameter for the top arm. So we need 9 pieces of bigger circle and 8 circles for the smaller one. We need small PVC pipe on every circle, just cut it about um, 2.5 cm. Um, in this project, you don't have to use power tools like drill or angle grinder. I use these power tools just to make the work faster. Okay, now we need to make 4 small holes on the circle for the inner cable. I also use a piece of wood for the base of the arm and we also need to drill the wood. Uh, we need 8 holes, 4 small holes and 4 bigger holes for the cable. We need a bicycle brake cable to control the arm so I took the cable from my old bike. I don't really need it anymore. I also got this big cable for the main structure of the arm and I need to tape the brake cable and the big cable first. It's for the gripper. Now we can glue all the circles that we have made on the main cable. I prefer to use hot glue so it's faster to do. And this is how the cables work to move the arm. I also added another wood for the base of the second arm.
because I don't have enough inner cable so I'm gonna use this clear nylon. It will work but it's going to need extra effort when controlling the arm because this nylon gonna stretch when we pull it. We need the arm standing, so I'm gonna add wood plank on the base. And for the controller, I use plywood. It's better to use metal, but I don't have the equipment. It will work. Because we are going to control the arm, I need to make the gripper as light as possible. So I use popcycle stick.
I need to add another carton on the gripper for robotic look. If you want this template, you can download it from a link in the description. Okay, before coloring, we need to remove all the inner cables and the nylon. So, um, I'm going to color this arm with matte black color. For metallic look, uh, I added a bit of metallic silver just a touch of metallic silver okay now we can install the controller This is the layout of each cable, so the arm will move based on the controller's direction. We need to add another wood on the base. Cables for the top arm need more space so it can move freely. Okay, it works pretty good and let's install the gripper.
So I added one more circle because there's an empty space between the gripper and the arm. To control the gripper, I made something like paddles so I can control it with my foot. Well, um, this project is pretty complicated because I need to learn how a continuum robot works and I need to find the right materials to build this project. Um, this robot mechanism is called continuum, uh, continuum robot, uh, where the cables uh, move the arm by pulling one of the arm side. And I got this idea from a video on YouTube which is randomly appear on my YouTube home and there's this comment so um, yeah I made it as you can see in the video this project is totally handmade no 3d print no laser cut all of this project made by hand so uh, that's why this build isn't that perfect because most people who build a continuum robot like this uh, they use 3D print to build the body and they use um, metal for the controller so as you can see on this controller it's not that perfect because it's shaky as you can see and it's heavy to control it uh, well yeah this is uh, this is handmade Okay guys, so um, what do you think about this project? Let me know in the comment down below. Um, before you leave, please leave a like if you like this video and subscribe to see my next project in the future. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Make It Cheap. As always, stay creative.